Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. In this video, we are going to learn about this V stack n times and repeat each row n times. So this V stack is for only one particular array and we are just appending those multiple times. So if you see this data, so this is an input and this is expected output for V stack n times. So it just grab this put this in the section and then put that same thing again and again so that is one goal and there is another one repeat each row n times that means that this row will be repeated n times then this row and then if we have another row then that will be repeated n times so we are going to build that particular lambda in this video so let's say this is n times and so let's say this is just a value let's say two times or something like that now this is our input array so row count so we need to find that how many row is there and then just pass that array so that is this row count then we can say column count and in that case that will be columns and this input data or array now total row count so this total row in the output will be this row count and number of times this one so in our final output there will be four rows and there will be two columns now we are going to use this make array function so make array total rows is this one and total column is this one this last one is function that means lambda the first one is row index and the next input is column index of that lambda so we can just say show me this row index okay if i just press this now you can see this is that output right so this row index one one and then two two three three and four four right but in our input data there is only two rows so when we want to do this b stack n times so this one need to be one this one need to be two and this one need to be one again this one need to be two again we can do that using mode function so mode that is row index minus one and mod it by row count and let's see now you can see zero one zero one right so we can just put it like finding this mode after finding this mode we can just say okay plus one now you can see this is one this is two this is one this is two let's say if we just replace this to three times make this to automatic then one two one two one let's say if we change this to four then one two one two one two one two and we can just add one more row in that case it will be one two three one two three one two so return us this expected row index right now we can just say that okay so this is our expected row index then index and then pass this data this is going to be this row index to one and this is going to be our column index that means column index. and if we just press yes now we can see that this wireframe service blueprint wireframe service blueprint wireframe service blueprint wireframe and service blueprint and this one also is in this sync so this is our expected result now what we need to do we need to combine this steps into a single step and i showed you this multiple times in our previous video so i'm not going to show you this in this video i'm just going to combine all of this into a single lambda and i'll put that in this section now if we combine all of these steps then this will be our lambda so we can just combine this lambda and save this lambda as v stack n times and then just put this definition now we can just use that one so v stack n times input array is this one and number of times is let's say two times so this is it about this v stack n times and repeat row n times so this one also in the same procedure so only difference is this make array calculation so i'll keep this one a little bit lower so this instead of that i'll say again result make array number of row is this number of column is also this and then lambda and then 
row index and then column index now in this section what do we need to do we need to keep one until you know number of times so we need to keep four so let's let's say just press you know row index now you can see one two three four so what we need to do we need to keep one 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 and then two 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 so we just need to you know divide this int just divide this one with number of times that means this number of times let's see now we can see zero 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 one 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 so there are four types right so we can just say okay so divide it and then so one 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 and then two 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 so that is our expected row index and column index is okay as it should be now we can just wrap this entire process in one more index and pass this input array and then this is row index this int part and and then column index is this column index okay just a second so this int n plus one so we don't need this one so that's it okay so you can see that this one repeated four times one two three four and then one two three four so this is repeat each row n times now let me combine this step so this is our combined lambda for repeat each row n times so let me shape this one so repeat each row n times and then put the definition now we can just invoke that one repeat each row n times so the input add is this one and then let's say two times so wireframe wireframe service low service flow so that's it for this video so this is just face taking each array n times and repeating each row n times if you have any suggestion or query please don't forget to comment in this video Thank you.